Gunner is a class that deals insane amount of damage from close and medium range, destroy veterans, and has enemies in urgent quest targets while doing it in style. Welcome to my guide for the Gunner class. What's going on guys? GH here. We're gonna go straight to the point. So let's do this. We're gonna start off with the gunner weapons, assault rifle, and twin machine gun. Now, assault rifle can attack enemies from long range while you're moving, and the damage depends on your distance from the enemy. So now you ask, how can you tell that you're attacking from the right distance? Here it goes. As you see here, the enemy has a circle target on him, which is colored white. And that indicates that you're not in the critical distance or optimal distance and as you see here i will try to go closer and if you notice the white circle turned to orange and that indicates that you're in the critical distance or optimal distance which means your rifle will deal more damage now keep in mind that rifle is a medium to long range weapon so when we try to attack in close range as you see there the circle is white now let's discuss rifle photon arts it has four photon arts First is weapon action. It's a dash and shoot attack and as a gunner, this is a useless skill. Cause the gunner class doesn't give this skill any invulnerability frames. Second skill is raising shot. It's an attack that explodes on impact and when it's charged, it penetrates targets which makes it hit targets in a straight line. This is your highest damage dealing art for assault rifles. But with how reliant the gunner class is on twin machine guns, you probably won't use this as much. Third photon art for rifles is homing shot. In most cases, this could be the best multi-targeting attacks for gunners because it can lock on to multiple targets and fire a shot to all marked targets. It's perfect for dealing with multiple enemies. Homing shot is actually the only reason you're gonna pull a rifle. Fourth rifle art is blaze shot. It fires high-speed volley after a dodge. To be honest, just dash and normal attack because that doesn't consume pp overall assault rifle is only used for homing shot that's it because your main weapon as a gunner is the twin machine gun now twin machine gun is a ranged weapon that is best used in close range let's go check the optimal distance as you see here we're far from the enemy and the circle is currently white and as i go near the enemy it turns to orange which indicates the optimal distance and as you see there, it's super close range. Now, aside all that, Twin Machine Gun also features a class skill called Chain Trigger, which can deal powerful damage based on the number of hits. And before we go a little bit deeper about Chain Trigger, we have to talk about the Photon Arts first. And the first Twin Machine Gun Photon Art is Weapon Action. And what it does is make you roll and you're immune to damage for a short amount of time while rolling. There's three class skills for this, and it's Stylish Roll Arts, Stylish Onslaught, and Stylish Roll Strike Back. Stylish Roll Arts allows the use of Photon Arts while rolling, and regardless of what art, it will do this kind of attack. And as you see there, while doing a weapon action, I press any Photon Art, and it will do a Stylish Roll Art. Now, is it useful? Yes. In some cases that you want the invulnerability frames and be able to attack at the same time but you're gonna need your pp for some of the important photon arts so most likely you're not gonna be using this next weapon action class skill is stylish onslaught this is a very important attack but in chain trigger situations only which we will talk about at the chain trigger part of the guide now stylish onslaught to be able to do this you need to stop pressing the directional button and just press weapon action and that will do a stylish onslaught like this you can spam it and that's very important remember this third weapon action class skill is stylish roll strike back it makes your photon art gain increased damage after dodging with weapon action another vital skill because you will be dodging with weapon action a lot now let's go back to photon arts for twin machine guns and what's next is bullet rave and it's a series of intermittent rapid fire attack and it ends with a powerful shot and if you charge it it will deal more damage this skill is very important for building up chains and you will use this more than others because this is the best way to build up chain hits 
next photon art is aimless rain it's an area attack perfect to use on mobs concentrated on a small area and last photon art is point blank it's a short range blast attack and it's only useful for one thing and it's activating a chain trigger and now let's talk about chain trigger it's a gunner main skill and before we talk about chain trigger <laughs> i'm just joking let's go chain trigger it's a gunner main skill that allows you to stack up chain hits after using a charged attack and activating the chain stacks can give you more damage and the more chain hits you have the more damage you will get and to activate it you just need to use another charge attack and to understand it much better here's a demonstration okay as you see here we're fighting a bujin and we're gonna use a charge attack and as you see there, after using a charge attack, a counter appeared. And that's the chain hit. So to build up more chain hits, you just need to attack the enemy with uncharged attack. Yes, do not use charge attack because it will activate the chain trigger early and it will deal less damage. The only time you will use a charge attack is when you have 100 chain hits. And as much as possible, use point blank to activate the chain trigger. Because after point blank, you will have to spam stylish onslaught until you see that you're not getting any damage boost anymore from the chain trigger. Because the boost in attack only lasts about 5 seconds, give or take. So spam onslaught all you can. Using point blank then onslaught spam is very tricky when the enemy is not down. But don't worry, the stylish onslaught also provides a bit of invulnerability frames. Now here's a bit of tip on building up chain hits quickly. So what I do is use bullet rave and just cancel out the last shot. It takes so much time. So just spam bullet rave rapid fire and cancel out the last shot by using a basic attack or another bullet rave to quickly gain chain hits. And if you want to see more on how I activate chain hits, watch the gunner vs bujin part of the guide. Check the timestamps. Now, Chain Trigger has two sub skills and it's Quick Reload and Chain Boost. Quick Reload shortens the cooldown of Chain Trigger depending on the number of chain hits activated. So as much as possible, as I've said, activate 100 chains only. Now, Chain Boost gives you more attack speed after activating a Chain Trigger. And here's my Gunner skill T. Just pause if you wanna see. Now, subclass time. If you're gonna ask me, I choose Force. Because PP is a big problem with gunners and the force will help greatly. But another option is fighter because it will boost damage to downed enemies. But if you want to play a bit more safer, you can go with hunter for survivability and also knockdown and launches immunity. Now let's talk about the advantage and disadvantages. Disadvantages first. And I must say, playing as a gunner requires more attention from you than the other classes. And some might see building up chains. It's just a hassle because honestly it's not always successful because the boss will fly around, back away or teleport and that will cause you to fail. And of course the range, it requires you to get in there to get more out of what a gunner can do. And getting close to an enemy isn't exactly easy to do especially if the boss drops meteors on you and slaps you away at every moment he can. Now, the good thing or the advantage that you get from being a gunner is the damage. Gunner is one of the best damage dealer in game and it's very stylish while doing it. Playing as a gunner is a fun experience for me and I recommend that you guys try it out. And that's my gunner guide and I'm gonna keep adding stuff on the future class guides if there's something that needs to be added. And if you have any more questions, just write down in the comments and if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, share and then subscribe to be part of the Gaming Hardcore family. And as always, this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.